Montgomery is our feast and get us back. We must let the nation know and we must let the world know that it is necessary to protest this threefold evil. Problem of the denial of the right to vote to police brutality. And we continue to face and face in its most vicious form last Sunday. <laughs> personal dedication to the cause of justice. MLK was special because he had great vision and he was a great communicator of the message for equality and civil rights. That ability to really inspire and get people on board. He, he was a brilliant orator, uh, speaker, and, um, and, and so really fired people up. Well, he was inspirational. He inspired people. Uh, he sacrificed. Uh, his own safety, and his family's safety. Um, and what else was inspirational about him was he inspired other people to lead, not just himself, not just follow, but actually young people, uh, kids, to actually get out there and um, make their own change. They organized the Montgomery bus boycott, which eventually bankrupted the bus system and forced them to end segregation on the bus in Montgomery. Martin Luther King being able to push this bus boycott, every African American in Montgomery refusing to take the bus, walking sometimes miles to get to work, um, over months using that tactic, which again, non-violent, non-compliance, we're simply not going to use your product. Bus companies eventually having to cave in and say, all right, we're going to desegregate our buses. And that's really where he hits the scene. A lot of people don't know that he wasn't just trying to help African Americans, but uh, you know, all people, whether, regardless of their race or ethnicity. Yeah, he spoke on a lot of issues that a lot of people weren't really aware of. I think he built bridges. I mean, one, one of the things people don't realize in the 1960s is he built a bridge with the Kennedy administration, then later Johnson administration, providing a kind of a game plan moving forward for people of all races. Um, and backgrounds to kind of come together and fight for equality. He took his cues from other historic figures uh, like Gandhi in terms of the nonviolence. You know, as I always teach my students, we, we, we learn history to learn lessons because Dr. King was a student of history and learned valuable lessons in his uh, efforts. I mean, I say this for all history is, uh, I think it's important to understand where we come from, the struggles we've been through, and the improvements and change that has been made. And I think it's important for, for kids to understand, you don't have to accept the status quo. You don't have to accept the world as it is, that you can affect change. Beyond just being a historical figure, I think it's important to celebrate everybody, um, even those who are lesser known. There are others behind the scenes who made uh, just as many sacrifices. Looking at civil rights movements for other groups as well, Latino Americans, uh, LGBTQ plus Americans, women's rights movements, they all borrowed heavily from the civil rights movement. I think that he's a great assessment of where we um, evolved into basically into the 1960s and where we're at today. This concept of civil rights or civil rights for everyone uh, has really helped bring America closer to, again, that promise of all men are created equal. All of us are created equal. Courageous. Inspirational. A brave warrior.